I know I don't have to say much about the unbelievable tragedy that happened last week. We have all felt it. Anger, disbelief, grief. But you know what struck me? How was this allowed to happen? Putting aside whose fault it is for the moment, it is baffling that in this day and age, we have buildings that aren't fire safe. This most recent tragedy, for example, there was only one fire exit that was locked from the outside. The grills were not hinged, they were fixed, so people were literally trapped. And before any of you argue that the building was temporary, that is besides the point, because even temporary toilets should be able to flush. So what is the problem here? It is us, us as homeowners, as tenants, and as landlords. We tend to be ignorant about the fire safety issues in our workplaces to the extent that most of us aren't even sure where the nearest fire exit is. And I know most of us are guilty of staying put at our desk when there is a fire drill in the building, instead of actually walking down to the assembly point, and not just in our workplaces. What about our homes? While many of us are strong supporters of security systems for homes, can we say the same for smoke detectors? Most of us are so paranoid about intruders, we tend to put aside having an escape plan if a fire breaks out. Many don't mind to invest a few thousand ringgit on a Honeywell security system, but we actually do not even have a 75 ringgit fire extinguisher in our homes. In fact, 86.7% survey in Malaysia did not own a fire safety apparatus at their home. It is not just at where we stay and work, but whenever we are in a building, be it hospital, shopping mall, we need to at least take note of where the fire exit is. And on the other side, authorities and the landlords have the biggest role to play here. They are the ones who give the final green light by issuing safety certs on properties that show that it is safe for people to stay and work. Checks need to be regular on the fire safety equipment in the properties and whether the tenants are following the rules, such as not blocking the fire exit or making sure that the fire extinguishers have not expired. In the case of the Tafi school, the investigation is pointing towards arson as a main reason, saying that a group of youths high on cocktail of drugs has started it. But that doesn't take away from the fact that the building wasn't fire compliant to begin with. And I can name just a few other occasions where knowledge of fire safety protocol could have helped. Just seven months ago, a fire claimed four lives in a house in USJ, and they couldn't escape because of their iron grills. Let's not forget about the fire incident that took 27 lives in 1989 after a dorm in a religious school burned down. That last incident took place almost 30 years ago. And what have we really learned? Which proves what Tunem say is right. We never learn from past mistakes. So do not turn your house into a death trap. Invest in smoke detector, fire blanket, fire extinguisher, and replace your fixed grill with a hinge grill. What we should learn from these painful lessons is that everyone has to play their part to ensure that buildings we are staying and working in are safe. Let this be our last wake-up call and not let your anger fade once the headlines have. And at the very least, go down when there is a fire drill. Just saying.